At the beginning of 2017, Audi and Nvidia showed off a self-driving Q7 that spent four days learning about obstacles and terrain and then was unleashed onto a course. It was an impressive feat for both companies and their systems under an extremely controlled environment. But the real world isn't so easy to navigate, and in the past 12 months, dozens of companies, both big and small, have spent their time trying to outdo one another in the goal of creating a self-driving car. The market has become as messy and confusing as a traffic light controlled intersection during a power outage. It's taken on the usual Silicon Valley hype cycle with more and more startups gunning for a chance to help change the way we get around. That's actually a good thing. Within all the chaos, teams are figuring out the best way to solve complex questions about how AI will make future driverless cars work. The more people working on the problem, the better. At this point in time, creating an industry-wide standard doesn't make much sense and could potentially stifle innovation. That's not to say we should have unregulated robo-taxis cruising around cities. Instead, we need to understand that self-driving cars are not something that'll appear in our garage in the next couple years. We're at the very beginning of what could be one of the most important changes in our lifetimes. Self-driving vehicles will reduce fatalities, lower CO2 emissions, and help give folks that have traditionally not been able to drive a chance to be more mobile. NVIDIA's hardware is at the center of many of these systems. The company's senior director of automotive, Danny Shapiro, told Engadget, the autonomous vehicle industry is just getting started, and it's going to be decades and decades of development. With its GPUs crammed into the computers in the back of a lot of these test vehicles, NVIDIA has a pretty good understanding of the state of AI as it pertains to automobiles. 2017 was the year of autonomous car AI hype a gold rush to get in on the newest tech to grab the imagination of Silicon Valley. But 2018, it's the year these companies will have to deliver on their promises because at some point, all these companies will start buying each other and consolidating the way tech companies do. But the end result is a safer transportation system. And when that finally happens, automakers and tech companies will have to agree on standards so everything works together. But for now, let the robot cars battle it out.